Welcome to the Anywhere Office. Phil Montero from the AnywhereOffice.com here, and we're going to talk a little bit about work shifting, which is something we talk about a lot on this blog. But uh, what I want to talk about, the biggest shift I've made in the past two weeks is switching from Windows to Mac. And I've got to admit that it started with this device, my iPod Touch. Um, uh, my brother-in-law says this is the gateway drug <laughs> to... Um, to switching to the Mac, and I got to admit that that's true because I, since I since I had my iPod Touch, uh, this thing just worked. It did what it was supposed to do. It was a pleasure to use, and I found joy in technology again. And I'm a tech guy, and I love gadgets, and I love technology. But Windows was frustrating me for a while, and uh, my iPod Touch really brought the joy of tech back to me, and uh, it made me long for. Um, what I hear a lot of Mac users use. So let me, what I want to talk about here briefly is the, uh, I think what basically boils down to um, four or five reasons why uh, I was able to make this switch from Windows to Mac. Let's talk battery life. Five to six hours, are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> uh, as a Windows laptop user, if I got between two and a half and three hours out of a laptop battery, I considered myself successful. On the on the Apple website, they said eight to nine hours for this battery on the on the uh, the laptop, the MacBook Pro. And I think if I wasn't using Wi-Fi and I was just doing word processing and working locally, I'd probably reach that. But let's just talk real life situations with Wi-Fi on and me using internet and wireless internet and going from where I am. Five to six hours battery life is realistic and that's just unheard of for me. The thought that I could take my laptop, unplug it and work almost all day without ever having to think about plugging it is in is just a, a, an amazing, an amazing thing to me. So that's, that's point number one, battery life. Uh, point number two is awesome software and I'm not and there's two parts here that's the built-in software and also the software that you can get on the Mac the built-in software is iMovie berries Windows Movie Maker and I was using Sony Vegas and that's an expensive piece of software on Windows and it was great and did a lot of high-end uh, video editing but let me tell you that with the built-in iMovie software that comes with this Mac I am able to do things quicker and easier uh, from a video editing standpoint than I could do with Sony Vegas and certainly things that I could never do with Windows Movie Maker which is the built-in video package that comes with Windows so um, and I'm getting a lot more in a video and you're going to see a lot more videos from me on this blog so that's a huge thing for me GarageBand is the built-in audio editing and uh, multi-track recording software phenomenal I'm blown away by the ease of use and the quality of that software. And being a musician, uh, one of the things I'm really looking forward to doing is more uh, recording of myself, playing maybe some keyboards, harmonica, um, ukulele, singing, and then as well as jamming with my, my brother Jason and friends um, uh, to do some more musical stuff. And, and GarageBand has, again, you know, in one quick informal GarageBand session, I've been able to do things that took me a lot longer to to figure out with uh, with my Windows PC and using other software like um, Adobe Audition and stuff like that. So so the built-in software, phenomenal. Uh, some software I, I, I've purchased and still is heads and shoulders above the Windows equivalents. First of all, I wanted to be able to do Skype interviews, record video interviews and audio vin interviews over Skype. And let me tell you that I tried four or five different solutions on Windows to do this well and just never. I wound up troubleshooting stuff and just couldn't find a way to do it easily. And I would come across these blogs where they would have these great side-by-side split-screen video interviews and, and invariably I would email them and say, hey, love the interview on your site, a lot of value I got here, how did you do this? And they all said, oh, I use a Mac and it's a $20 program called Call Recorder. And uh, and after a while, I got tired of troubleshooting it on the PC again. I think you can see a recurring theme here, tired of troubleshooting. And uh, so 
So I figured I'm best just waiting till I get my Mac. So I got my Mac. I bought Call Recorder for the $20 a cost, and I've done a couple of tests, and it's brilliant. Brilliant program. Super easy to use. I can do a Skype interview with somebody or a conversation and easily record it, whether it's just audio or the video side-by-side -side or dual video. Uh, and I'll put the link in the blog post that goes along with this for that Call Recorder software. Also... Screencasts, um, one of the things I found over time is that uh, showing people how to do stuff, I'm a, I'm a gadget guy, I'm a tech guy, That that's what I do, it's part of my passion. I love playing the sandbox, which is, uh, and learning new technology. It's part of the reason why I've loved switching in the Mac, it's a whole bunch of new stuff to learn. And there's a learning curve and it's been a bit of a struggle, but I got to admit that it's, it's also been great. Because uh, I, I, I take joy out of learning new things, especially new technology. And um, and I found that some of the blog posts that I posted that teach you how to do things and walk you step by step through how to accomplish things using your technology, whether it's web-based applications or programs on your computer uh, or new tech I've discovered, are the ones that get the most views and the most comments. So I'm going to do a lot more of those going forward. Uh, so on the PC side, I used Camtasia by TechSmith. Great program, loved it on the PC side, and they do have a Mac equivalent, but I have seen some phenomenal screencasts and on the Mac side by people using Macs, and I asked what they used, and it was ScreenFlow. Um, and again, just I, I downloaded the demo, was blown away by the ease of use, the quality of the screencasts I could do, um, and just how easy it was. It's a great video editor and a great screen capture program. So I'm going to do a lot more screencasts going forward, showing how to do not only things on the Mac, but also the PC, and how to use some cloud-based applications, things like Google Calendar, Google Gmail, um, you know, uh, remote access to your PC, all kinds of stuff. And I'm going to be using ScreenFlow for that. And uh, again, it was about a $100 piece of software, but great, great value and, and surely worth the price because it's just so easy to use and produces such quality uh, quality videos. So, so there's the, the awesome software.